Hey guys, it's Fulton Cards, live and direct from snowy Brooklyn in March of 2018, and I am about to open up another box of the Between the Pipes, which is a product that I swear by. This is from the year 2006-2007. Uh, so there's 24 packs per box and 5 cards per uh, pack, and there are all kinds of interesting inserts. There's the... Um, there are auto cards that fall one to two per box because they're one in 16 packs and so do the memorabilia cards which are one in 20 per so you can potentially get one or two um the base set runs about 150 cards and it sort of is divided into subsets of future stars um stars of the game uh greats of the game first round picks team canada which is all canadian goalies then the Immortals, which are your Jack Plants and uh, Turk Brodas, etc. Then there's tandems of two goalies per card, and then record holders rounds it out to 150. Uh, there are there is this the special mask subsets. Um, the mask subsets uh, you probably only get a couple per per box, I gather. So here's what we it says on the side of the box. It sort of mentions all of the different things you could potentially get. You see there's stick works and double, double memorabilia and game used gloves and so on. Those are very, very, very rare. Um, I don't think they fall very often. And often uh, they would be numbered. <clears throat> so we could potentially get a double jersey, uh, but they're really, really low print runs. I think they're like numbered to 40 or something crazy like that. Uh, but they do insert those goodies every once in a while, so there is the opportunity to get them. And and then there's the mask subsets are every year, these are called the mask four, every year they have a subset of <clears throat> focusing on spe specifically on the mask, like close-ups of the mask. So here it is, this is a hobby box with the three across. So I can scooch this together, uh, which is a really nice look. The coloring is nice with this teal and white. Uh, typically, these cards are a little bit sort of, I've said before, a little bit gaudy, a little bit sort of uh, not particularly well done by whoever designed it. Um, nonetheless, they're great cards, and I'm a massive, massive fan of these, um, building these sets. So let's see what we get. Uh, so here we go. We start with the stars of the game, and the first one is stars of the game is Martin Gerber. Uh, here we have a Steve Mason Between the Pipes, um, and uh, this is a Future Stars, so you can see the subset, so this would, the Future Stars are the lowered number cards, so they probably run from 1 to 55 or something. The Stars of the Games would be a little bit higher as they run um, after that subset. So we go from, from the Future Stars to the Stars of the Games, and then I guess the Greats, and so on and so forth. And here is a, uh, this is a record breakers insert of George Hainsworth, and it's uh, shutouts. And this is a beautiful old school card. Actually, the look of these particular cards from this year is are not terrible. The colors tend to be a little bit, the color palette tends to be, um, you know, pastel, so that's not necessarily the best. I'm going to quickly look up the record breakers. Are they called record? Yeah, record holders. So actually, that's part, the record holders are another subset at the highest the highest numbered, I think, if I understand it, yeah, 146. So those are the last cards of the base set. They run from 143 to 150 uh, and to round out the base set of 150. So you see that we're, what we're building here is we're building the subsets of the base set, of the 150 base set. Continuing on, it looks like we have, we might have a pricey there. And here we have, he shoots, he saves one point. Uh, I don't, this might actually simply be a redemption program. So this is a redemption program card or a filler that we can't choose because it is no longer good. But we did get a carry price. Did we get a carry price? I thought it said carry price. Yeah, it is. Okay. And this is, in fact, uh, a first round pick. So the first round picks are numbered to 107. So we got, we got carry prices. It's sort of a pre-rookie card. Uh, this 106, which is um, a first round pick is basically, they run from 105 to 116, so they're another subset of the base card, so they we can stick them in here. But we landed the carry price fairly right off the bat, a pre-rookie card of carry price. 
Memorial Cup winning Harry Price. Um, does it say anything on the back? Are we at all interested? So there he is with Tri-City Americans. And he selected, was selected fifth overall by, uh, by the Habs, of course. It's a really nice, look how young he is. Very cool. So we got the Carey Price right off the bat, which is one that we would definitely want. And here is a tandem. So I believe this is the last of the subsets, or right up the top. So 139 would be in here somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out these subsets. And this is a Future Stars of Merrick Schwartz. And we actually have an auto. So we'll flip that auto around. We did get an auto right away. Future Stars, Future Stars here. And let's see who this auto is. It's a Justin LeClaire, a Justin LeClaire auto, and it is, I believe it's a sticker auto, but it's, it's a very seamless sticker auto, uh, really, really nicely done. So there's our first auto, we got it very quickly off the bat, and let's keep on going with this. Those are the redemption points, and there's an Immortals of Roger Crozier, and he will go in our Immortals. What's a little bit confusing about this is... Um, yeah, the way they're all written, they look, all these cards look so very different. But that's what sort of makes it interesting. It's a fun, fun set and subsets uh, to collect. All right, let's continue on here. There's a Curtis McElhaney. So we got a Curtis McElhaney Future Stars. There's a Team Canada. So of the Team Canada's, we got Eddie Belfour. So many subsets. There's the Future Stars of Racine. And there we have the Jacques Plant Immortals. Jacques Plant Immortals. So we pop them into the Immortals bin. So we did get a Between the Pipes auto fairly quickly. Hopefully we'll get at least one more. I've also noticed with these products, sometimes the autos get stuck to the back of the Redemption uh, cardboard um, insert uh, dividers. So you have to sort of look behind them to ensure that you you're, I, I can't I don't think I could separate all these out because it's going to take forever there's a Team Canada uh, there's a Future Stars there's a divider and be careful look at the back of the dividers and there is a greats of the game of Dan Bouchard of the Atlanta Flames um, where am I putting this I'm putting this with the greats of the game and I have not had any greats of the game yet Sometimes these packs are easy to open, sometimes they shred, sometimes they're not. There's Brisgaloff, Stars of the Game, and there's, uh, well, we do have a mask behind there, so I'll save the mask for a bit later. And there's a Billy Smith, Greats of the Game. Very nice. You see, you see how the Greats of the Game basically have all of the Greats of the Game listed, um, are most of them listed basically in the background, or perhaps those are the Immortals, actually. It's the Immortals that they list behind the greats of the game, so they're, it's really actually interesting. You can see that the George Hainsworth uh, is, is to the top left of Billy Smith, so they surround the, our greats of the game by the Immortals of the game subset. There's Tim Thomas. Nikolai Riopel, and we have an insert here, don't we? No, that's just a... Uh... Rick DiPietro, just another one of these dividers. And then we have a Between the Pipes first round picks, and we have Grant Fuhrer. So we have gotten two of the first round picks. We've gotten the Carey Price, and we have gotten the old school Grant Fuhrer. These cards are just awesome. I absolutely love these subsets. Um, it just so, There's just so much going on. I believe we have another mask here, so I'll, I'll hold off on that. But there we have Flurry as, as a star of the game. I'll put this down here with the mask. And, uh, and we have another greats of the game, and it would happen to be Felix Podven. Felix Podven, greats of the game. So much going on. This is going to be a long video as I rummage through all of these and try to separate them out, unfortunately. Bully the goalie. 
there's Justin LeClaire, Future Stars, and here we have a Between the Pipes Tandems, and it's Grant Fuhr and Dominic Hashek. So we've collected already a couple of those. And then we have this Mortals of Roy Werders. Roy Werders Mortals. Perhaps it's record breakers that they have behind the heads of the face uh, of the game. Whatever it is, it's cool. There's Terry Sawchuk. Yeah, it looks like it's actually, as I look at it now, it looks like what they've put behind them is the record breakers, which who happen to be immortals, of course. So there's Terry Sawchuk. These are really nice looking cards. And there we got the Carey Price, stars of the game. Again, another pre-rookie of Carey Price. So as a future star. And then we have another one of Carey Price. So we've hit three Carey Prices, and this one here is his Team Canada. Uh, his statistics on Team Canada are absolutely ridiculous. This is a guy who essentially has had one goal against uh, an international play um, and a save percentage up around the 270s or something ridiculous. Oops, just dropped that. And here we have another one of the Between the Pipes uh, first round picks, and it happens to be Rick DiPietro. Loads of packs left, so much going on. Building all the subsets as we go. I probably will buy another box of the, these. I'm, I'm liking them so much. I Actually, as far as the look, I, the, it is pastel but it's very nice. It's Future Stars. There's Pascal Leclerc again, and this is a Future Stars. And this is a Trevor Kahn. And this is a Future Stars. Now this is a Stars of the Game. This is a Future Stars. And there we have a Jerry Cheevers. Jerry Cheevers, Greats of the Game. Look at that goals against average, really low. Okay. The beautiful thing is these these boxes uh, cost under forty dollars now, which is just unbelievable. There's Justin Pogi, also another one who played with uh, Team Canada, so he would be in our Team Canada subset. Jason Bakashiwa, uh, future stars potentially. Um, I did get a hit here, so I'm going to I'm going to save that hit. We'll see what it is in a hot second. We're saving a couple of our hits. Oh, here we go. We got Glenn Hall. Nice Glenn Hall. Record holders. We have Craig Anderson. Another future stars. And we have this Billy Ranford, Stanley Cup winning, uh, Conn Smythe winning, I believe, as well. Uh, right after Gretzky left, he got another Stanley Cup So for the Oilers. And then we have this, which is a Between the Pipes first round picks. And it would be Tuka Rask with green pads. Seem to get some all these cards open. There we go. Julian Ellis would be a future stars. We have another one of the tandems. These tandems are really nice. And it's Jacques Plant and Glenn Hall. And of course, Jacques Plant did in fact play for St. Louis near the end of his career. Chicago. Um, Glenn Hall played for Chicago and he played for St. Louis also later in his career. I love those. And here we go, Michael. So this is a Future Stars. And we have a Bernie Perron, Greats of the Game. Bernie Perron, Greats of the Game. So much going on. Uh, the color wise, the color palette's just bonkers. Um, but some of these cards look look fairly good. I mean, these this is a fairly clean look. Uh, 
This is a good year to collect these ones too because you are uh, guaranteed to get some carry prices and I certainly hit a, a boatload of carry prices. With Fuji, uh, Fuku, Fuku, Fuku Fuji, Fuku Fuji, easy for me to say, Future Stars. Brian Finley, Future Stars. Loads. The Future Stars usually is the biggest subset because um, there's Marc-Andre Fleury. You got a Team Canada, Marc-Andre Fleury. These are really nice. And we have a Cam Ward first round picks, which is, I think, the first card in the first round picks. It might be. Hannah kind of Toivonen, Future Stars. We got Christabel Huet, the French goaltender who played with Montreal. Stars of the game. We have a future stars of Josh Harding. We have another one of these dummy redemption thingies. And we got Glenn Resch. Chico Resch, greats of the game. And there he's wearing his New Jersey uh, Devils jersey as opposed to his Islanders jersey. He might have started his career in Colorado, if I remember correctly. Well, well actually, Colorado and New Jersey are the same franchise, if we recall correctly. There's Jeff Glass. Oh, I have something there, and it is an auto. We'll keep that. I think it's an auto. And we have a John Davidson. John Davidson. Uh, how cool is that? Who, of course, went into broadcasting, and I think he became the president of St. Louis, of the St. Louis Blues, or something to that effect. Uh, but he was a a really sharp mind and a really important sort of voice when it came to uh, you know the NHL and opinions on the rules and stuff. I'm not sure where he is exactly right now, but he's definitely been uh, a, a prominent voice within the National Hockey League. There's Yaro Halak with the Hamilton Bulldogs, of uh, who of course I guess were a farm club of the Montreal Canadiens. Yarrow Halak, if I remember correctly, and that would be a Future Stars. The Future Stars seem to be all kinds of colors. Here's a Stars of the Game of Peter Budai, who also played with the Habs. And then we have another Future Stars. And we have a Gump Worsley, a younger looking Gump Worsley who played for a couple of decades. It mentions him on the island, on the Rangers and on the Habs. Uh, he's a Stanley Cup winner, as is Marc-Andre Fleury and some of the other goalies we've mentioned. Sorry guys, this video is going to be epically long, but that's just the nature of this particular product. <clears throat> There's Justin Pogge as a Future Stars. Uh, there's Ryan Miller as a star of the game. There's a future stars of Mike Smith. And we have another one of the Between the Pipes first round picks, and it's Marc-Andre Fleury with his yellow pads. So that's a nice look right there. We still have another four or five packs, certainly. And I do have some hits that I'm going to run through. There we have another one of the tandems, and this time it's Ed Jokamine and, uh, and John Davidson. That's a nice subset, I tell you that much. There's Martin Ull, Future Star. And here we have Marty Brodeur, Stars of the Game. I guess he was still playing back then if he's a star as opposed to a legend or future or uh, or whatnot. A record breaker. So here is another Between the Pipes first round pick, and it is Leland Irving. Uh, still have a few more packs. And we have this couple of hits to, to take a peek at, too, if I could scoop them out of the, the, uh, the stacks of cards here. Such a messy uh, table of cards at this point, trying to divide up all the subsets, see what we're having, what we got. There's Roberto Luongo, Team Canada. Gerald Coleman, Future Stars. We have a Cam Ward, Stars of the Game. Stanley Cup winner, and we have Mike Palmatier as a greats of the game. Mike Palmatier. Uh, he, of course, 
a couple of things just fell. Um, he, of course, uh, was with your Toronto Maple Leafs. So he was also with the Washington Capitals. And I think he was actually involved in what would become the Patrick Bois um, acquisition, just in terms of he was, when he was initially traded for whoever it was, Marois or something, there was... Uh, there were draft picks in in the lot, so he, he actually Mike Palmatier was was in a sort of um, indirect way related to the Patrick Roy acquisition or trade for his his draft pick, Jordan Parisi, that's the future stars, and look at this we got a Rogi Vasho and a Gump Wors uh, Worsley tandem, I love that. And here we have a Forgotten Franchises. I think these are fairly rare. Uh, you might get one per box, I think. And a Forgotten Franchises, Lauren Chabot. Uh, I do have one of his old school cards, I believe. And it's from the Montreal Maroons. Montreal Maroons. So these are franchises that no longer exist, obviously. Uh, that's a bit of a one-off card, I think. And then here within the Immortals, we got George Hainsworth. Okay. We have three packs left, and then we'll go over some of those hits that I appear to have hit. Hopefully there's something good in there. There's definitely an auto, I believe. Ray Emery, stars of the game. We have a Tuka Rask. This is probably our second Tuka Rask. We have a Grant Fuhrer, record holders. We have the Divider, and then we have a Richard Brodeur. A Richard Brodeur. Uh, who, of course, was with the Vancouver Canucks. Very nice. And he had some pretty good runs, surprising runs with some pretty bad teams. Tobias Stefan. Stefan. There's Bernie Perrault, record holder. There's Chris Beckford suit. And that is a Future Stars. And then finally, we got Patrick. Greats of the game. Patrick Waugh. Wow. That's a good look. That's a really good look of an intense Patrick. That's a great sort of dirty look by Patrick. Infamous for his dirty looks. Which is a good look for him. Dirty look is a good look for, for Patrick Waugh. Wow. St. Patrick. Or casso, as they used to call them in Quebec. Casso is a little container that you put French fries in. And he used to show up to his games and practices with French fries in his hands. And they poked fun of him. It's when he was just 18 or 19 years old and breaking into the league. And he was still eating like a chump. Uh, there's Leland Irving, Future Stars. Here is Manny Fernandez, uh, Stars of the Game. Future Stars here of Ryan Daniels. And one last, at the bottom is like what we often have, we have an Andy Moog, Greats of the Game. So we seem to always get the Greats of the Game or Immortals or Record Holders right at the end of the pack, unless I'm mistaken. So um, we still have a couple of things to look at. So let's just see what we got here. Um, we do have a mask. We have, so first and foremost, we have a mask behind here. So let's see what it is. It's a mask for, they're green. And let's see, we got... Um, this the Islanders is Di Pietro. Who is this? You have received a yeah. It's a Rick Di Pietro. So we got a Rick Di Pietro mask four, and you can see that it's sort of it has the rainbow sort of uh, teal green look and very animated, uh, very textured. So that's our first mask. So we have one auto. We have one mask. Let me move this aside. There's no more room. And let's see this other one. So we have a Kelly guard between the pipes, future stars. And then our next mask would be, who is this? Whoa. And this one here would be a flyer. So could it be Hextall or it would have to be someone after Hextall? Marty Biron or who would this be? So, oh, it's, it's Nidimaki. It's Nidimaki. So we have a Nidimaki. And we have a Di Pietro, so from the Pennsylvania and uh, New York area. Now, we have another auto. So above this auto, uh, we have a Henrik Lundqvist, stars of the game. 
So who is this? Auto is the question. And it is, I can't even read it. It's, I think it's Delorier, is it not? It's Jeff Delorier. Okay, so it's a Jeff Delorier, and I believe that would be a Future Stars Auto. It's a Future Stars Auto. A little bit lackluster, not, not necessarily the best one, but I'm collecting them all, so I'm just happy to sort of add to my stack. Now, our last, last one. So this would be uh, a game used, I think. I think it's a jersey. We have Dominic Hasek, so it's nice to collect the Dominic Hasek. Uh, behind the Dominic Hasek, we have an old school, young George Vizina, which is really nice. So we have the Immortals of George Vizina, and then finally, below this Hasek, we have something, and it's Felix Podvin. We have a Felix Podvin game-used glove. It's a game-used glove. This is part of his glove. It is not a jersey. So let's see what the odds are on the game-used glove, because I'm sort of shocked by that. Game-used glove set. Print run to 50. So these are actually print run only number to 50. So they're inherently a short print. I don't think it says it on it, but it, it, it matter of fact, it absolutely is. And they, there are gold parallels that are only numbered to 10. Uh, and I think some of these cards are actually available in the uh, Vault series, uh, which was a re-release later on. But so this is, this is right. So this is a GG13. So in the subset, it's a 20-card subset. The Marty Turco was re-released as a final vault, but uh, there's Marty Brodeur, there's Di Pietro, there's Esposito, Fleurig, Fjord, Jokamin, Gilbert, Lunevo, Hasek, Hodge, Leland Irving, Curtis Joseph, Felix Podvin, Al Montoya, Jacques Plante, Patrick Roy, Hanu Toivinen, Gump Worsley, Glenn Hall, and Marty Turco. And I got the Game Use Glove. Game Use Glove of Felix Podvin, uh, only a 50 card run. So there's only 49 others of this bad boy right here. So that's a nice hit. That's a pretty major hit. It sort of atones for the mediocre autographs. Okay guys, so very quickly, let me go through what we got. We have a stack of future stars, all kinds of different colors and shapes and sizes. Uh, I did get the Carey Price future star. So that is great. It's a pre-rookie card of Carey Price. Um, in terms of stars of the game, this is another future stars, I'll just put it over there. In terms of the stars of the game, uh, I, I did get Hashik. I got sort of all our really important ones, um, including uh, Tim Thomas, etc., etc., and Hashik, right. So those are our stars of the game. Um, in terms of first round, picks. Um, again, I, I got a stack of these, but I did one of the first cards I got was a carry price. So I got a second carry price pre-rookie card, uh, including included, it's a first round pick of carry price. Uh, these are also other first round picks from other years and so on. And I did also get the Grant Fuhrer, which is, uh, which is really interesting. In terms of the subset of greats of the game, uh, I did well again. I got the Patrick Bois. I got, uh, you know, the Bernie Perron. I got um, Billy Smith, etc., etc. Uh, in terms of the record holders, I got uh, five of them, inclu including Sawcheck and Haynes and Hainsley and Hainsworth, sorry, and Glenn Hall and Grant Fuhr and Bernie Perron. Uh, I got uh, the Immortals. I had got five of these Immortals, uh, including Vizina and Jack Plante, which is really nice. That Vizina is really pretty. Um, then in terms of the tandems, I did get the Habs tandem of Worsley and Vachon, but I got also got the Plante Hall and uh, Hasek Fuhr, as well as Eddie Belfour and Hasek. Um, I did get this one hit sort of wonder thing, which is the Forgotten Franchise is only one in the entire box. And I happened to get, uh, fortunate for me, a Montrealer. I got the Lorne Shabbat. And then with regard to the subset of uh, Team Canada, 
I again got a carry price. So I got my third carry price. I got three carry prices in the box. Uh, an, another form of pre-rookie card. In terms of the mask, uh, I got the Rick DiPietro and I got the Nitty um, Miyake, um one as well. In terms of autos, I got uh, two sort of future star autos, unfortunately, but Jeff Delorier and Justin Leclerc to help build out the set. They're really, really nice autos. And then finally, somehow I got a game used glove as opposed to a game used jersey. And this game used glove is, uh, is to 50, which is really uh, exciting. So there you go. Uh, I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct uh, from a little place in New York called Brooklyn.